Technology advancements in the bowling ball, the lanes, and oil conditions have made an impact on the sport during the last several decades, and recent studies by the United States Bowling Congress Equipment Specifications and Certifications Team has shown the interaction of these factors are progressively growing out of balance, creating an integrity risk for the sport. While bowling ball technology has advanced, the physical playing field remains mostly unchanged. The volume of oil used on the lanes has nearly tripled over the last four decades. The combination of advancing ball technology and higher revolution bowling styles has led to the lanes transitioning much faster, with less consistency and greater manipulation. If this escalation continues, what will the sport look like 10 or 20 years from now? As the national governing body, the USBC and its Equipment and Specifications Committee has a responsibility to look ahead and make the hard decisions now to ensure a future for the sport for decades to come. After analyzing all of the data, plus some additional data that was gathered even more recently by the USBC Equipment Specifications and Certifications Team, a number of new USBC specifications will soon go into effect. Throughout the bowling technology study, it was apparent the flare potential and thus the amount of hook displayed by bowling balls was growing over time. Balance holes, also known as weight holes, were originally intended to help correct the static imbalance of a bowling ball, so it would comply with USBC's static weight rules. Over the years, the balance hole has evolved into a way to create added hook for bowlers. As shown through research, Balance holes can add up to 21 thousandths differential RG to a given bowling ball, which can deliver additional hook beyond the originally intended USBC manufacturing specification limit for differential RG, which is set at 60 thousandths. USBC conducted numerous tests to determine the impact that balance holes have on the amount of hook of a bowling ball, which was compared to the impact of opening up the range of static weight from the current limit of one ounce up to three ounces. When looking at the average of the balls tested, balls with balance holes hook nearly two boards more than the balls without balance holes. Based on the analysis of this data, effective August 1, 2018, the new rule will allow for bowling balls weighing more than 10 pounds to have one of the following options. If the ball is drilled without a balance hole, it may have up to three ounces of top or bottom weight side weight and finger or thumb weight. Or, if the ball is drilled with a balance hole, it may have up to three ounces of top or bottom weight and one ounce of side weight and finger or thumb weight. And, effective August 1st, 2020, all balance holes will be eliminated and deemed illegal for use in USBC certified competition. How will this impact the marketplace? While bowlers certainly could begin purchasing and request bowling balls without balance holes immediately, it isn't necessary until August 1, 2020. One additional related change will also go into effect on August 1, 2020, which is that a bowler cannot change static weight during competition by drilling gripping holes deeper. The key item to note about the balance hole specification changes is that all bowling balls that currently have a balance hole can be used in competition. There should be no fear from bowlers about owning or purchasing a product with a balance hole that might be deemed illegal in the future. Simply work with your pro shop professional to plug the balance hole by July 31st, 2020, before the new rule goes into effect. Starting on August 1st, 2018 and running through August 1st, 2020, bowlers will have two options regarding static weight and balance holes. As of August 1st, 2018, if the ball is drilled without a balance hole, it may have up to three ounces of top or bottom weight, side weight, and finger or thumb weight. Any bowler choosing not to have a thumb hole will be required to mark either by scribe, engraver, or tool their intended center of palm with a plus mark. Or, if a bowler chooses to have up to one ounce of static side, thumb, or finger weight with or without a balance hole, the entire gripping hole specification change would remain with the effective date of August 1, 2020, when all balance holes are eliminated. Effective August 1, 2020, house balls will be the exception from the new gripping holes rule. 
House balls are defined as A, being supplied by the center in which the certified competition is being held, B, having a polyester or basic urethane cover stock, C, having a differential RG less than 0.025 inches, and D, the ball is not drilled to fit the bowler specifically. Note, a ball left in a bowling center by a bowler to be used as a house ball is not considered a house ball. Finally, effective August 1, 2019, only a dry towel can be used to clean bowling balls during competition. Liquid cleaners of any kind will only be allowed before or after competition. During USBC's research, more than 500 bowling balls were tested for oil absorption, which led to the creation of a new standard operating procedure for measurement, and also yielded data to determine the landscape of where today's bowling balls fit on the spectrum. Testing has since continued, and to date includes more than 800 bowling balls. Effective August 1, 2020, for a new ball to be approved, Submitted ball samples cannot have an oil absorption time under 2 minutes and 15 seconds and must adhere to the 0.6% non-conformance rate. In addition, any balls where the model average is under 9 minutes and 30 seconds will require additional balls to be tested. Manufacturers will be required to cease production on any models that do not comply with the new oil absorption specification of 2 minutes and 15 seconds after January 31st, 2022, allowing 18 months of production beyond the rule change. The final standard operating procedure will be provided to the manufacturers after the 2018 USBC convention, giving everyone more than two years before the changes go into effect. With these changes, every bowling ball in every bowler's bag will be allowed for use in USBC certified competition. So what does this new specification mean to the consumer? Manufacturers will not be able to produce bowling balls beyond the new specification which sets an important boundary for future cover stocks. From a competitive standpoint, the goal is for oil patterns to maintain their intended design longer over the course of a league or tournament competition. It is not intended to be a noticeably significant change today, but rather a step to protect the future. Also, USBC does not believe overall scores will be impacted by this change. The research and new specifications were always about the oil patterns and protecting the integrity of the playing field environment. The sustainability and integrity of the bowling environment is the chief concern of the USBC, now and in the future. Nearly three years of research, data, and feedback from bowling stakeholders went into the bowling technology study presented to the USBC Equipment and Specifications Committee. The USBC Equipment Specifications and Certification Team's ongoing commitment is to stay informed, analyze changing products, and thoroughly test new products that could impact the sport. The work done by all groups involved and the resulting changes to the rules of our sport will help ensure bowling's future.